In this video, we're going to focus on the series RLC circuit. So in this example, we have a capacitor that is in series with an inductor, a resistor, and an AC signal. So let's draw a circuit. So here's the resistor, here's the inductor, and here's the capacitor. So we have a 30 ohm resistor, a 100 millihenry inductor, and a 40 microfarad capacitor. And we have a 15 volt, 60 hertz AC signal. So let's focus on part A. Calculate the capacitive reactance in the circuit. So here's the formula for capacitive reactance. It's 1 divided by 2 pi Fc. F is the frequency, which is 60 hertz. And C is the capacitance, which is 40 microfarads, or 40 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. And so the capacitive reactance, Xc, is 66.3 ohms. Now let's move on to the second part of part A. So now let's calculate the inductive reactance represented by the symbol XL and that's equal to 2 pi FL. So the inductance L is 100 millihenries. So that's 100 times 10 to the minus 3 henries. And so XL is 37.7 ohms. So now that we have the capacitive reactance and we have the inductive reactance, let's go ahead and calculate the impedance in a circuit represented by the letter Z. And so here's the formula for it. It's R squared plus XL minus XC squared. In this example, R, the resistance, is 30 ohms. The inductive reactance is 37.7 ohms and the capacitive reactance is 66.3 ohms. So go ahead and type that in. So the impedance in the circuit it's 41.45 ohms. And so that's how you can calculate the impedance if you have a series RLC circuit. Part C. Calculate the RMS current in the circuit. So we can use this formula. The voltage is equal to the RMS current times the impedance. So the RMS current in the circuit is going to be the voltage of the source, that is the 15 volt AC signal, divided by the impedance. So it's 15 divided by 41.45 ohms. And so the current is 0.3619 amps. So that's the RMS current that flows in this circuit. Now let's move on to part D. Calculate the voltage across the resistor, the inductor, and the capacitor. So let's start with the resistor. So V is equal to IR. But we're going to use the RMS current. So it's going to be 0 0.3619 times the resistance of 30 ohms. And so the voltage across this resistor is going to be 10.857 volts. Now let's do the same thing with the inductor. The voltage across the inductor is going to be the current times the capacitive, I mean the inductive reactance. So that's going to be 0 0.3619 multiplied by XL, which is 37.7 ohms. 
And so V out in this example is 13.644 volts. Now let's calculate the voltage across the capacitor. So it's going to be the current multiplied by the capacitive reactance, which is 66.3. And so the voltage across the capacitor is 23.994 volts. So now you know how to calculate the voltage across the resistor, the inductor, and the capacitor. And to check your answer, you could use this formula. So Vs should be equal to the square root of Vr squared plus Vl minus Vc squared. So VR is 10.857 squared. VL, that's 13.644. VC is 23.994. Go ahead and type that in. See what you get. This should give you 14.999. 9 volts, which matches the voltage of the source. So that's how you know if you have the right voltages in this example. Part E. How much power is consumed in a circuit? Only the resistor consumes energy. So the power absorbed by the resistor is the power absorbed by the entire circuit. The capacitor and the inductor, they absorb energy, but they give it back to the circuit. So we don't have to worry about those two elements. The current in the circuit, that's 0.3619. And the resistance is 30. And so this is going to be 3.929 watts. Now we can confirm this answer with another formula. So the power consumed in a circuit, it's also the RMS voltage of the source multiplied by the RMS current of the source times the power factor. The power factor is the resistance divided by the impedance. Now the resistance of the circuit is 30 and the impedance is 41.45. So the power factor is 0.7238. So now let's use this formula. So the voltage of the AC signal, that's 15 volts, multiplied by the RMS current of 0.3619, multiplied by the power factor of 0 0.7238. And so this will give you the same answer of 3.929 watts. So you have two ways in which you can calculate the power consumed by the circuit. Now what about the last part? What is the resonant frequency of the circuit? The formula that will help us to calculate it, it's 1 divided by 2 pi times the square root of LC. And so L in this example is 100 millihenries, so that's 0.1 henries. And the capacitance, it's 40 microfarads, or 40 times 10 to the minus 6. And so the resonant frequency in this example is 79.6 hertz which is not too far off from 60. Now at this frequency, XL is equal to XC. The inductive reactance and the capacitive reactance, they equal each other. So in this formula, where the impedance is R squared plus XL minus XC squared, when XL equals XC, 
xl minus xc becomes 0. So then z becomes the square root of r squared, which in this case z is equal to r. So at the resonant frequency, these two values will be equal. Right now you can see that they're close at 60. But at 79.6, these two are equal, and the impedance is equal to the resistance of the circuit.